ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 3 Structured Query Language When a query is created in Access, the application converts this into a program in a language called SQL, that is Structured Query Language. This language is very widely used across many computing platforms and can be used to write systems in its own right. There is no need for the average user to ever deal with the SQL code behind queries, but it is useful to know about it. So, let's start Access and open the supermarket database. If a security warning banner appears, this can be ignored right the way through this course, in fact, unless specifically instructed. From the navigation pane on the left, within the Queries section, locate the Foodstuff query. Double-click it to run the query. If you then, just underneath the View button, click the double arrow and select Design View. And this will show us the design criteria. The query selects records with a category of foodstuffs from the stock table and then displays the fields product ref, item and category. That's why they're ticked over here. Next, let's click the drop down arrow on the view button again and this time select SQL view. The SQL code for the query is displayed. OK, I'm just going to take a screenshot and then show this larger so you can see it properly on the screen. So, from the stock table, it selects for viewing the product reference, the item and the category, but on the condition that the stock category must be equal to foodstuffs. OK, let's get back to where we were. And then, by pressing the Close button, we can close the SQL view. OK, so we've had a little look at Structured Query Language. And in the next two lessons, we're going to be creating a database and then creating tables. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.